good afternoon friends welcome to yet another exciting session of water technology today we are going to talk about some other topics of water technology you must be remembering in the previous class we have talked about hardness of water types of hardness we have talked about uh, units to express hardness uh, and uh, uh, what are different ways in which hardness can be determined and today we will be talking about disadvantages of using hard water whether in domestic or in industrial use besides that how to convert this hard water into soft water means we will be talking about water softening methods there are lime soda process zeolite process and ion exchange process that can be used for softening of hard water now let us first talk about disadvantages of using hard water in domestic use you all know that for the domestic purpose hard water can be used in washing cooking bathing cleaning etc etc now when hard water is used for the washing purpose then what happens despite of cleaning soap precipitate out as soap react with the hardness causing salts and this leads to wastes of soap means neither the cleaning occurs and soap is also getting wasted you can see in this particular reaction here c17 h35 coona is there and this is nothing but the soap molecule this reacts with calcium ion from this is soap molecule this reacts with calcium cation of the hardness causing salt and precipitate out soap in the form of scum despite of causing carrying out cleaning soap is getting precipitate out over here means if the hard water is used in the washing cleaning will not occur and soap will also get wasted now in bathing we all know that hard water doesn't give leather it doesn't give leather and despite of leather it produces scum these scum get deposited on the bath tub and our body and this decreases the quality of soap and lead to the wastage cooking if we use hard water in cooking we all know that if any non volatile solute is present in water then its boiling point increases and if the water taken is hard then non volatile solutes are present in it and this will increase the boiling point of water and that would take waste uh, unnecessary time and wastage of fuel will occur pulses peas etc don't cook soft besides that flavor of tea and coffee is also not good if it is prepared with hard water so we should always make sure to avoid hard water in cooking if we drink hard water then it have bad effect on our digestive system and uh, there is a possibility of deposition of calcium oxalate in our urinary tract so we should be cautious while drinking also it should not be hard water now what are the disadvantages of using hard water in industries we all know that water is a very important engineering material and it is used in a number of industries namely paper industry textile industry sugar industry etc etc and in all these industries if the water taken is hard it may cause number of problems and we are going to see what all these problems are suppose textile and dyeing industry is there if the hard water is used to wash uh, yarn and fabrics then what may happen the calcium and magnesium salts get deposited to fabric and it hinder proper dyeing some of the iron salt of hard water may leave colored spot on clothes so it will reduce the quality of uh, fiber sugar industry if in the sugar industry we are using hard water 
then the anion present in hard water say for example nitrate anion or sulfate anion etc they cause difficulty in crystallization of sugar and will not be able to get that crystal clear sugar besides that paper industry if we are using hard water in paper industry then calcium and magnesium salts present in the hard water reacts with chemical which are used to give smooth and glossy look to paper and iron salt if present in the hard hard water they may also affect the shade of paper means use of hard water will reduce the quality of paper of paper industry pharma industry pharma industry basically deals with the manufacturing of very expensive drugs and all and if hard water is used in any of the process of formation of drug then it may lead to the formation of some other drug some other medicine which is not desired man it means it uh, leads to the formation of unwanted product so these were the disadvantages of uh, using hard water in domestic and industry but the main role of water is in industry is as a heating agent water is heated continuously in the boilers to produce steam boilers are the apparatus which convert water into steam and if the boiler feed water is hard it may cause a number of problems in boiler and these problems are categorized as scale and sludge formation boiler corrosion caustic embrittlement and priming and foaming will be taking one by one all these problems which causes number of uh, difficulties in industries we will be dealing them in terms of their definition what are the causes how we can prevent these problems and if at all these are occurring how we can remove first of all we are taking scale and sludge formation as you all must be knowing that boilers are used to convert water into steam and in boiler continuously conversion of water into steam occurs steam goes out in the form of uh, vapor but the salt which are non volatile they remain in the boiler only and hence concentration of salt increases in boil over a period of time as the concentration of salt increases it may happen that a situation comes when the ionic product of the salt exceeds solubility product and as it is clear to us when the ionic product exceeds solubility product then the salts are thrown out in the form of precipitate means when the concentration reaches over saturation level salts are thrown out in the form of precipitate the precipitate thus formed can be of two type it may be scale or sludge you can see two type of precipitate are seen in these diagram these are loose slimy smooth mud like precipitate which are thrown out in the boiler vessel and they remain suspended in the boiler while in the second diagram a layer of precipitate is thick and adhered to the inner wall of boiler as can be seen over here so two type of precipitate can be formed in the boiler if the hard water is used one is loose and slimy while other is hard and thick adhered on the wall of boiler the loose and slimy precipitate is known as sludge means we can define sludge as the loose and non adherent slimy precipitate is nothing but the sludge while the scales are hard thick and strongly adhered precipitate adhered on the inner wall of the boiler that is called scale sludges are formed by substances like 
मैग्नीशियम क्लोराइड मैग्नीशियम कार्बोनेट मैग्नीशियम सल्फेट एंड कैल्शियम क्लोराइड एंड ऑल दीज सब्सटेंसेस हैव ग्रेटर सोल्यूबिलिटी इन हॉट वाटर बट लेस सोल्यूबिलिटी इन कोल्ड वाटर मीन्स ऑल दीज सब्सटेंसेज वैन रीचेज टू द कोल्डर रीजन ऑफ द बॉयलर दे गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू प्रेसिपिटेड नॉर्मली दे रिमेन सोल्यूबल बट वैन दे रीचेज टू कोल्डर रीजन ऑफ द बॉयलर दे गेट्स प्रेसिपिटेड एंड आर थ्रोन आउट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्लच स्किल्स आर फॉर्म इन बॉयलर ड्यू टू सम पर्टिकुलर रिएक्शंस एंड दीज रिएक्शंस आर एज शोन ओवर हियर द फर्स्ट रिएक्शन इज हाइड्रोलिसिस ऑफ मैग्नीशियम क्लोराइड हाइड्रोलिसिस मीन्स क्लीवेज बाई मीन्स ऑफ वॉटर द वर्ल्ड हाइड्रो स्टैंड फॉर वॉटर लिसिस मीन्स क्लीवेज मीन्स द हार्डनेस कॉजिंग सॉल्ट मैग्नीशियम क्लोराइड विच इज प्रजेंट इन हार्ड वॉटर इट मे अंडर गो हाइड्रोलिसिस टू फॉर्म मैग्नीशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड एम जी ओ एच होल्ट वाइज एंड दिस इज डिपोजिटेड एज सॉफ्ट स्केल बिसाइड्स दैट If the silica is present in the boiler feed water, then it may react with the hardness causing salts of calcium and magnesium and convert them into magnesium silicate or calcium silicate, which may get deposited on the inner walls of boiler. And these are very difficult to remove. Means these are very hard scales. As shown in the picture, here the scale is. deposited on the inner wall of boiler this is the coating of scale the third reason of formation of scale in the boiler is calcium sulfate normally calcium sulfate is soluble in water but it has a negative temperature solubility curve means its solubility decreases with increase in temperature and due to that calcium sulfate get deposited in boiler as solubility of calcium sulfate decreases with increase in temperature means it is soluble in cold water but completely insoluble in hot water we can just make it more clear by seeing these two values here the temperature is given 15 degree celsius at 15 degree celsius the solubility of calcium sulfate is 3200 while at 230 degree celsius its solubility solubility is decreased to 15 ppm as it is very clear with increase in temperature its solubility is decreasing and as the solubility is decreasing it would be thrown out in the form of precipitate and hence it would form scale so the third reason of formation of scale in boiler is calcium sulfate the other one is calcium bicarbonate calcium bicarbonate decomposes at lower temperature means at lower temperature in boiler upon heating calcium bicarbonate gives calcium carbonate carbon dioxide is removed and water is removed and this calcium carbonate is a scale it is insoluble but it is acting as a scale only in low pressure boilers in high pressure boilers cso3 is also soluble and not acting as a scale so here we are clear that scales are adherent thick ppt which get deposited on the inner walls of boiler and they are caused by presence of silica hydrolysis of magnesium salts besides that these may be due to calcium sulfate and these may be due to calcium bicarbonate now what are the disadvantages if scale and sludge are formed sludges are very slimy loose and thin ppts and they remain suspended in the boiler scales are hard ppts the disadvantages caused by scales are first is wastage of fuel 
now the hard coating which is formed on the boiler it may cause thermal uh, conductivity to lower down means the boiler feed water don't get enough amount of heat as given from outside due to poor thermal conductivity of scale and due to this reduction in heat transfer to inside water the overheating is caused and overheating uh, leads to wastage of fuel wastage of fuel also depends upon the nature and thickness of the scale thicker the scale more would be the wastage of fuel as is clear from this particular table here the thickness of scale is given in nanometer 0.325 nanometer 10 percent 0.625 you can see it is increase 1.25 still increase is there so as the thickness of scale is increasing wastage of fuel also increases as clear from this particular table so scales should be avoided in boiler so as to minimize the wastage of fuel second dis disadvantage of scale formation is decrease in efficiency since the scales are deposited in the walls and condenser these choke them and thus decreases efficiency of boiler same is the problem with sludges sludges also choke or clog the walls and the inlet or outlet pipes etc and thus decreases the efficiency of boiler the third disadvantage is is lowering of boiler safety now as we have discussed that uh, overheating is required due to deposition of scale because constant supply of heat is to be maintained and due to this overheating the boiler material becomes uh, brittle and weak and due to this brittle and weak nature of the boiler material it uh, becomes more unsafe as the distortion of boiler is caused danger of explosion due to scale overheating is done which make boiler material brittle develop cracks in 